Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I'm heading into the new dungeon ranking event, the Caw Pine Caverns, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a score in the top 100. All right, so this is a interesting dungeon. I actually really like this dungeon, and this is the team I'm going to be running. So it is Cloud, Aerith, and Yuffie with a total power of 243,000. Uh, the dungeon consists mostly of using fire and lightning, uh, either materia or weapons, to do the majority of the damage in the fight. And like most of the dungeon ranking events, there is a bunch of different ways in which you can complete this. So I'm going to show you one of those ways, um, but of course, take it with a grain of salt. Everyone has different teams in these games. You gotta, or in this game particularly, <laughs> you gotta kind of mix and match and do what you can but i'm going to show you guys what i think is one of the easier ways to get in the top 100 as you guys will see we're going to be cruising a lot of these fights taking them down very fast we're going to take care of the ads i'm going to teach you guys exactly what you need to know to get through these fights all right so that being said these are the different enemies we're going to be fighting the scorpion sentinel elena the motorball we're not going to be fighting the Levricon. We are going to be fighting Yuffie, which is the secret final boss where you get the extra points. And then we are going to be taking out the Guard Scorpion. As you can see, every single one of these five uh, bosses that we will be fighting is accompanied by adds. Some of them we're going to take out the adds, some of them we're not. I'll show you guys in the video what we're going to be doing. Now let's look at the map and I'll give you guys like a basic rundown of how we're going to go through this. So we're going to start out up here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is head straight down the middle. Okay. And we're going to unlock the key right here to go over towards Elena. Right. But we're not going to fight Elena first. What we're going to do is we're going to open up this chest, get the thunder cocktails. We're going to head back and we're going to be taking out both of the thunder bosses first um i'm building i have a setup right now that is basically half fire half lightning um that kind of prioritizes fire a little bit more but we're still going to have a lightning breach and we're still going to have a fire in peril um and you're going to see how well this actually works rather than just specking fire or just specking lightning by all means both of those strategies will work like i said you got to do what works for you. This is just one suggestion on how to get the S plus clear and get in the top 100 for all those badass goodies. All right. So after we get the thunder cocktail from Elena, we're going to run back up. We're going to take out the motorball in the motorball fight. We are going to take out the ads and then the motorball without breaking his sigils. We're just going to go straight for the kill. After we do that, we're going to come back down here towards the uh, red scorpion, which is the other thunder boss. Okay, I'm gonna pop a, um, a second thunder cocktail. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick how you can actually pop a thunder cocktail or any cocktail for that matter. You can use it to fight ads and it will not go away after fighting those ads. So you can use it to kill the ads and then still use it in the boss in the next round. So that's what we're gonna do down here. That way we'll have taken care of both of the ads in the dungeon. So I'm going to tell you guys there's two sets of ads in the dungeon. One over here and one over here. At the point in time when we've taken down both of these thunder bosses, there will be only fire bosses left. We're going to head straight over to Elena. We're going to fire Cocktail. We're going to basically wreck her. Then we're going to head up here to the Assault Scorpion right here. We're going to use two summon charges, take out the ads and half his HP at the same time, and basically wreck that thing too. And then we're going to finish up by going over to Yuffie. We'll pop a Mega Elixir. We'll take her out. I'm going to show you guys how to get in the top 50. Super easy. So let's go into the team build really quick. And I'll show you guys how this setup is going to work. Um, all right. So let's go through the materia. Um, the D Braves on Cloud and Yuffie are for if you don't have high enough DPS in the Yuffie fight at the end of the dungeon and you need to uh, knock down her physical attack buff because she will do it in this strategy guide or in this guide i'm not even going to be using them we're going to kill yuffie so fast that it doesn't even matter however this is there just in case you guys can't hit that dps check now other than that um there's actually a lot of material here that we're not even going to use just because how fast we're killing things however this is the setup for if you don't quite have this dps 
have this DPS. So this is going to be what you're going for, I think, regardless for this overall strategy, which is killing Thunder uh, bosses first and then ending with the Fire Winds. All right, so we have a Healing Asuna Poison on Aerith because the Assault Scorpion can poison us. Then I have a Lightning Breach on Aerith. She's going to be in Paraling Lightning on the first two bosses. All right, and then we have a X Sigil Ruinra on Aerith, an X Sigil Ruinra Blow on Cloud, a triangle sigil ruin or a blow on Yuffie, and then a circle sigil ruin or a blow on Cloud. So the reason we have all three of these sigils is because Yuffie at the end of the fight utilizes her shroud technique. Now, if you weren't here for her event, she does it a technique where she goes into a sigil break, but you can't see her sigil until you actually hit the sigil that it is, then it will become available. So it's shrouded at first. If it's circle and you hit X, it'll still be hidden. If then if you hit triangle, it'll still be hidden. But if you hit X, it shows X from that point on and how many you have left to hit. All right. So that's basically the materia setup. Um, going into this now I'm going to go into the individual build. So let's take a look at cloud All right, so cloud is sitting here level 70 96 K power 9.5 K HP 3.1 K physical attack all in all looking pretty damn strong if we go into his R abilities right here He's got plus seven physical attack Then we have boost fire potential four boost lightning potential five The reason that I boosted lightning higher is because we have a better fire and peril right now this is going to work perfect you can either go all the way to the end of the spectrum on either or but i only have a ob3 sky splitter you know i went to one stamp card on this and then i got pretty lucky on the extra two dupes um but yeah this is how i'm running this so with the high lightning potency and the lightning breach it makes the first two bosses kind of like cake and then even with only a level four fire potency I'm going to show you guys how to make the rest of the bosses pretty freaking easy too. All right, so I'll show you guys the R abilities right here. If you want to pause it, you can. All right, three, two, one, and we are back. Now, the Sky Splitter, of course, the support materia has X Sigil Boost right here. That's why the X Sigil is down here in the third slot. Of course, we are running the Murasame OB10 in the second slot because this is a Fire Lightning build, prioritizing Fire, hence the Fire Costume and also Ifrit right here. Now, if we go to the sub-equips, I am running the Crystal Gloves, okay, for the HP Lightning Potency, the Seaside Collar for the HP Lightning Potency, and then I'm also running the Prototype Crimson Blade for the Attack and Fire Potency. So as you can see here, it is like a pseudo-hybrid Fire Lightning build, and you'll see when we get into the battle how well this actually works. All right, so let's go over to Aerith right here. Aerith is sitting at level 70, 80k power, 8.2k HP, 3k magic attack, and 2k healing. So she's looking pretty damn solid. But to be honest, we're not really doing very much healing. So if you don't have this costume, um, you can definitely use the sunny robe. Uh, you could use the rosy battle suit. Or actually, I would probably use the chocobo suit or the sunny robe if you don't have this one. All right. And uh, let's look at her set. Oh, okay, so we already went over her stats. We'll go into her R abilities right here. I'm going to bring this up for you guys to pause it if you need. And let's go back into the sub equips. All of these, both two of these are uh, free event weapons, with one of them being Kuja's Spirit Blade. So here we have the Hellhouse Caller, HP Physical Defense. We have the Bahamut Knuckles, Magic Defense HP. And last but not least, the Kuja's Spirit Blade. But really, anything that boosts magic attack will be perfect for this. I just wanted her to be able to also do damage, since Elena is more susceptible to magic damage than she is physical, even though Cloud is going to be the one doing the grand majority of the work. He's going to be absolutely slaying it, as you guys will see. Um, I just wanted her to be a little bit stronger just to bring something else to the table. All right, last but not least, here we have Yuffie Kisaragi, power 66k, 8.6k HP, 2.6k physical attack. Um, here are her R abilities in the back. So I was kind of just focusing her to be a buffer slash uh, physical attacker. So I just focused on physical attack um, and a little bit of fire potency in here. So we are running her buff debuff extension uh, costume because I will be using feisty spirit from her arctic star basically in every single boss fight her secondary weapon is going to be flurry of steel which is the fire imperil weapon it will go from 
mid to high, even though it's only at OB1. So base five star is going to work absolutely wonderfully for her. Um, I do have the Judgment Bolt in the summon slot up here. And then for her sub equipments, we have Tifa's Amaranth's Claws. For the little bit of fire potency, I have Zack's Crystal Sword right here. And then we have Zidane's Sword. If you don't have any of the Final Fantasy IX crossover weapons, throw on something with physical attack, something with ability potency up, anything like that. Just get her physical attack as high as you can, her regular attack stat as high as you can, and she's going to work great. Honestly, throughout this fight, the only way she's doing damage is through Fire Blow. So she doesn't need to be overly powerful. Cloud is the focus of this entire build, so don't forget that. All right. Um... Oh yeah, and for Aerith's weapons, Fairy Tail, Sun Umbrella. Sun Umbrella will work on some things, and it won't work on other things, but either way, it's just a little bit of non-elemental damage. All right, well, that being said, let's head into the dungeon. I'm going to show you guys how to get in the top 100, actually more like the top 50. Um, so I believe we have about three days left on this dungeon. I like to wait to make these guides just to make sure that the ranking sticks. All right, so we're going to start out by coming down here. We're going to grab this chest. That is our esteemed Mega Elixir. All right, we're going to come down here. Don't forget to grab this little sparkle on the ground. That is our first key. All right, we're going to use that key to open up this door right here that goes to Elena's room. All right, inside this room, we're going to fight our first group of ads. Um, and we're going to take care of the ads as quickly as possible because in these dungeons, they can get real annoying real fast. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to take out the Sahagan Prince first. All right, just going to Night Bloom with Yuffie. I'm going to Feisty Spirit. And on Cloud, I'm just going to go straight into damage. If you put this on semi-auto, when Yuffie casts her Feisty Spirit, it will auto-target Cloud because he has the highest physical attack. So just keep that in mind. It can save you a little bit of time later on in the dungeon. All right. So there's the first set of adds down. We're going to grab the chest right here. That's going to give us the Thunder Cocktails. All right. And we got our two summon charges for later. Those are going to come in handy. All right. So here's the Thunder Cocktails. We'll get special supplements times six and six high potions as well. All right. So we are just going to run straight back up to the top right here. Stop right in front of the motorball. And I am just going to use a Thunder Cocktail on Cloud. And we're going to go straight into the fight. I am going to take out the adds first, just because you can't blitz this boss down quite as fast as some of the other ones. And I don't want to get hit by the little aqua, thunder, flame dance, whatever these guys are. All right, so I'm going to target them right off the bat. Just going to Night Bloom with uh, Aerith. Hit him with a Fire Blow. Get rid of them right there. There we go. Straight into Night Bloom. Yuffie is going to Feisty Spirit. Aerith is going to Lightning Breach, and Cloud is just going to start doing as much damage as he possibly can. Um, if it is a Sigil Break right here, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to stop them from breaking the Sigils. So you have to be really quick on switching over. Um, but as you can see, Cloud's doing a good amount of damage. I'm going to try and hit him one last time right here. So we could have done that a little bit faster if I had been more on point with not letting them cast their sigils right away. Um, but that's going to work. I'm guessing we'll get like a 66,000 score right here. Let's see. 67. So not bad at all. All right. So that is the first boss. And like I said, we are taking down the thunder bosses first and then dealing with the fire ones. And I'm going to explain why we're doing that as we choose these trance abilities. All right, so for the very first thing, we're just going to go straight to score boost. Um, we are going to be getting a 40% score boost on this total run. Don't forget to run into this room right here. There are no ads, so you don't have to worry about healing or doing anything. All right, we're going to get the elixir, grab this second key right here, and now we're going to head down to the very bottom left and fight the red scorpion. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I kind of stumbled upon the other day. Uh, it's pretty interesting. So we're going to open up this door, right? I'm going to show you guys something cool right here. All right, so before we go in here, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to use a thunder cocktail on cloud, all right? Now I want you to take note of this little thunder icon. That means that the thunder cocktail is in use. Now I'm going to run around. I'm going to try and find these ads. Oh, 
okay they're around here somewhere right now the interesting thing that i found out is that you can use any of your abilities and then fight a group of ads and um let me see here i'm gonna feisty spirit cloud let's get the thunder strike going Aerith will night bloom Right, we will do that. And take down this guy right here. Alright, so what I was saying is that you can use any of your items on a character and fight a group of adds, and you're not going to lose those buffs. Now, if you use a heal and fight a group of adds, and you get take a bunch of damage, yeah, it's going to affect you. But check this out. I'm going to go back into my briefcase, and if you look at Cloud, Thunder Icon, still there so pretty freaking cool especially because those ads two of the three were weak to lightning right now i don't have to do anything else i'm going to leave my hp exactly where it is and we're going to go into this in this fight i am not going to fight the ads we are only going to focus on the boss and that is it we can burn him down fast enough that the ads will start to cast and they're not going to get it off and we're going to be able to beat him before the end of the fight all right, let's see here. Yuffie, I'm going to Feisty Spirit. Aerith, I'm going to Night Bloom. Cloud, I'm going to Thunder Strike. Yuffie, I'm going to Feisty Spirit. All right, now we just need to get off, I think, one more Thunder Strike, and we should be good to go. There you have it. All right, so as you can see, the Aqua Rangdos were pretty close on casting. If you are not able to kill the scorpion before they're hitting you with their thunder dance, I do recommend killing the adds first. Um, you just got to hit them with a whatever elemental blow that they're weak to, and they'll die in a single hit. They are not very tanky at all. All right, so let's look at the trans abilities here for the red scorpion. Okay, so for this one, this is why we took out all of the lightning creatures first, because... We are going to take, this is going to be the only trans ability we take that isn't a score boost. And we're going to take the one that gives us the fire potential plus 50%. Now, I'm considering coming back and doing like a top 10 guide for this dungeon, um, which would entail taking this score boost right here, which means we're going to have a total of minus 40 physical attack, minus 40 magic attack, and minus 40 fire potential which is pretty gnarly. So that's going to be another time. For this time, we'll stay with the 40 score boost. We'll take the fire potency up. Don't forget to grab this chest on the way out. And now that we have that massive fire boost, we're just going to start wrecking shit. All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to head on down to Elena. Careful not to uh, start the fight. Okay, I'm just going to put a single fire cocktail on Cloud. He has Hellfire all ready to go. So when we go into this fight, I'm just going to use a... Um, actually, you see how Yuffie's a little bit low right here? Um, so I'm going to use one Ether on Yuffie. Okay. And then Yuffie is just going to do one Imperil on Elena, and then we're going to Hellfire everything down. All right. And then Elena's going to be at half health, and it's going to be super easy to kill her off for the rest of the fight. All right, so let's put that uh, strategy to action right now. All right, so here's Elena. Let's fucking go. All right, so switching over to Yuffie. We are going to use the Imperil. Okay, once that lands, straight into the Hellfire. Now, Elena had started a cast time on an attack. It's very fast cast time. So a moment this is done... I'm going to have to switch over to the defense stance to block her hit. But as you can see, all the adds are gone. Elena's almost gone. All right, switched blue. We're going to block this attack right here. It's still going to do a good amount. All right, there we go. I think with Aerith, I will heal once. And now we're just going to focus damage all the way. All right. One Night Bloom one fire a blow and elena is done and elena was is one of the hardest fights in this dungeon so at a 40 percent score boost and basically just annihilating her in like 10 seconds i told you this is a super fun build i actually really like this dungeon because 
you know, we haven't really got to like mix elements before. And I wasn't sure how it was going to work with like stacking potencies in the sub weapons, but I'm pretty stoked on it. All right. So for this one, we are going to take the score boost right here. Now we have the lightning potency minus 40%, but because we fought Elena third, took out the thunder bosses for the first two, it does not matter if we lose the if we lose the lightning potency right here. So boom, that is the reasoning for taking out the lightning bosses first. All right, so we're going to run away from here. We have two fights left, and they're both going to be absolutely freaking cruiser. All right, so let's run up here. The salt scorpion right here, he can poison you. All right, so we are going to use our summon charges. We're going to use two of them on cloud and a fire cocktail on cloud. Um, at the start of the fight, we're essentially just going to do the exact same thing. Um, I will use one ether on Yuffie. Ethers don't really cost very much. Um, I put up something that shows the stats on it a little while back, but they're not that expensive. So, But if you're worried about it, if you're trying to min-max your score, I could see it, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, so I'm going to switch to Yuffie, Flurry of Steel, switch to Aerith, Nightbloom, and... All right, so I tried to get that Hellfire off before the Poison hit, but I didn't quite get it. So the Poison is on. All right, but we are going to take out the, the little adds. Okay, and now we're just going to go straight into damage. All right, Cloud's doing that. We are going to Feisty Spirit. And we will get the Night Bloom right here. I'm going to use a Healing Wind just to get everyone up. I don't want to accidentally lose any of the characters. They are a tad bit low. We haven't done any healing really um, throughout this dungeon so far. All right, there we go. Our Feisty Spirit, Aerith will Night Bloom. And basically, we are done with this boss in about there you have it all right so there's the assault scorpion in my last run i took it down a little bit cleaner um but i think we should get upper sixty thousand for those points let's see yeah sixty five thousand i think i got sixty seven thousand so that one can be a little bit tricky um he can do damage he can surprise you but with that strategy, you're killing him so fast that it, it doesn't really matter what he's going to do. All right, so this is our last trans ability. We are going to take the score boost once again. That puts us up at a grand total of 40% score boost. If we look over our trans abilities right here, we do have minus, four, minus 20 physical, minus 20 magic, fire potency plus 70, lightning potency minus 40, our defenses are down 40%. And our max HP reduction is plus 20%. I'm not exactly sure what this means. I'm sorry to say, now I'm supposed to be the one explaining this to you guys. But if you guys know what this means, could you drop a comment and let me know? Because I'm super curious to know what that is. All right, so don't forget to run into this room. We're going to grab the last key right here, or whatever this is. Yes, it's the last key. All right, and that being said, we're going to head to the final boss. Um, now, this final boss can be tricky, but the way we're going to handle it is going to make it so easy. It's going to be like walking on the beach at sunset. All right, so I'm going to go in here, right? We're going to use one Mega Elixir, which is going to get everyone max on everything, one Fire Cocktail on Cloud. And essentially, at the beginning of this fight, we're going to do very similar to the last ones. I'm going to imperil him, I'm going to imperil her, Night Bloom her and then Hellfire take out the adds, and then we're just going to blitz Yuffie down. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go. There she is. It is pretty fun to fight the actual Final Fantasy characters. All right, so there's Nightbloom. There's the Imperil. One Blazing Strike. Straight into that. I'm going to Judgment Bolt. Not going to do the Healing Wind. This is going to take down both of the adds um, with ease, and we're going to put a sizable dent in Yuffie's HP. All right, so she's about 50% health. Keep an eye on her uh, attack right now that is charging. Um, I don't think... And we're going to block it now. Boom. All right, so this is going to be Landscaper. After this, we're just going to blitz her down. 
All right. Let's switch back. Cloud's going to go into full-on damage. Um, and I think I will do one more in peril. Cloud will hit the Blazing Strike. And just to make sure we're not sigil breaking, I'm going to be switching pretty fast. And she should go down right now. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Copine Dungeon ranking. Very hard. It is an S plus clear for sure. Um, and one that will put you up in the top 50 as of right now. Um, today was the first day I just started doing this dungeon like a couple hours ago. So I just learned it. Um, so I'm not sure how competitive it is yet. Um, but depending on how it is, I'll check my ranking after like 24 hours and see how far it dropped. All right. So that was about 7,000 less than I did last time. I think I did 1,902,000. And this time I did 1,895,000. So pretty damn solid. And I think that, you know, if you guys have the sky splitter and the costume, which I think a lot of people pulled for, um, even if you were a steam day one player, uh, it's going to definitely make this dungeon pretty damn fun. I love the fire lightning hybrid build. I'm curious, do you guys like it? If not, and if you guys have questions concerning this, uh, different build options, and you guys want some advice, I'm always happy to help. That being said, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, drop a like, leave a comment, uh, drop a sub. I would totally appreciate it. And I hope this video helps you guys to get in the top 100 ranking. That being said, hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.